What's going on everyone? This is Cadman Cycling. Welcome in. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are for stage four of Tour de Zwift. We're on the standard ride. So this is in Macquarie Islands. It'll take us around the Chain Chomper route. Looks like we have over 800 riders here today just getting started. This route takes us up the Castle KOM and the Temple KOM reverse. So up two straight climbs, uh, pretty close together, and then the second half of the route will be mostly a descent. So we have a little bit of a lead in, then we'll jump on this chain chomper route and get started. Goal today is uh, keep it pretty close to 200 watts early, uh, see how I feel. I took a, a little bit of a warm up before this ride and didn't feel great, so decided not to push it too hard out of the gates, kind of warm up, see how I feel before we get to some of the climbs. Another thing for this stage that a lot of people are talking about, not only kind of on other YouTube videos and around the community, but also just before the ride in the chat is bike choice on a lot of these routes in stage four. Stage four is all about dirt routes. It's called Let's Get Dirty. So two of the rides are in Watopia in the jungle. One was the jungle circuit route was the shorter ride. The other one, the longer ride was the serpentine eight route. Uh, those were much more kind of heavily traveled on the dirt routes, uh, easier to pick a gravel bike or a mountain bike. This one was kind of half and half between paved and dirt as we're about 0.8 kilometers in and we'll go ahead and skip forward to the start of the Castle KOM. Actually kind of pick it up in the middle here. Castle KOM is two and a half kilometers, an average grade of 2.1%. So. Not crazy, uh, but definitely get gets the legs starting to heat up. So, like I was saying, a lot of these Macquarie Island routes are a lot harder to pick and select exactly which bike to use. I decided to go with the road bike setup. Uh, it looks like the majority of riders either did choose a road bike or a gravel bike. There were a few mountain bike riders, but few and far between. Most of the mileage on this route is paved roads. Uh, the main exception being the Temple KOM. So here at about six kilometers, everything's been paved, Castle KOM's paved, but then the Temple KOM, while only about two kilometers long, is much more elevation gain than the Castle KOM. Uh, and also it's all on dirt. So anyone who's on a mountain bike or a gravel bike will have a significant advantage on that climb. So I ultimately made the decision to go with road bike. I thought there was enough paved roads, uh, paved flats, paved descents, and also this castle KOM um, to try and make up for that temple KOM climb. But that's just something that kind of going into it, there's a bunch of different strategies. It makes it easier on a group ride. Uh, there's not as much pressure as there would be in a race. But if ZRL or WTRL were having a, a race on this route, I think it would actually be pretty conducive to a bike change. So when I say bike change, I mean, I can actually stop my rider in the middle of a ride and change which bike he's on. You do that by going to the the setting screen and then switching which frame you're riding. But before you switch, you need to come to a complete stop. So because this was a group ride, uh, decided not to go that route, just keep it more casual. But I think the ideal thing to do here would be ride the road bike on the majority of the route, but for the Temple KOM climb to actually switch to that dirt uh, mountain bike frame. So finished the Castle KOM there, uh, starting to get warmed up. So legs started to feel a little bit better. Now we're on dirt. We ended that paved section around the six, seven kilometer mark, just starting the Temple KOM here. It's 1.9 kilometers, but now this is a 3.5% average grade. And immediately I can feel, I feel like I'm, I'm riding a bike that's 10 times heavier now as some of these mountain bikers are, are starting to go by. It's really painful on these dirt climbs on a road bike just to see how much your rider slows down and feel like you really have to up the watts to, to keep up. So I think I started the climb somewhere around 150th uh, out of all of the riders. 
at this point I'm kind of watching a lot of the riders go by me and we'll go ahead and skip forward towards the end of the climb. I'm now around 200th, so I did get passed by a decent amount of riders. Um, again, was keeping the watts around 200 to 225, so some of those were mountain bike riders, some were gravel riders, some were just road bike riders going faster than me, but really interesting how tactic, tactics play a piece of it. I think overall, just when I'm free riding around Zwift, I do try to avoid the dirt routes. I don't enjoy them quite as much. I enjoy the, the high speed road routes, but something Tour de Zwift really gives us the opportunity to do is try out these routes that we don't really ride on our own or we don't join races that are a part of. So, well, I, I have to say stage four wasn't exactly my, my favorite stage um, with all of the dirt routes. It definitely offers some variety and that's what Zwift is all about. There's so many different routes to choose from in multiple different worlds. So there's really something for everyone. As we just pass through the Temple KOM banner there. And now we've done all of the climbing in this stage. So almost 10 kilometers in, uh, mostly downhill from here. So we'll actually go ahead and skip forward all the way to just one kilometer left. We've gone uh, down quite a bit of elevation now, uh, back on paved roads. So a lot of the descent was paved kind of immediately after the temple, there's a dirt descent, but then the last few kilometers are all on paved roads. So I was trying to kind of work with a, a group and see how many mountain bike riders we could catch. It, it was a few, but really not too many. I think ultimately my positioning around 200 that I had at the top of the KOM stayed pretty much the same. So just kind of working with these guys uh, as we roll towards the finish line. This one was a lot of fun. I hope you guys are riding toward his Zwift. Um, I th I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are too. It's really fun to, to read a lot of your comments on these videos. Thank you so much for all the support as we're really just trying to build this channel, but build the Zwift community uh, it's amazing how, how much bigger Zwift is at this time this year than it was last year. So finished the route there, got the Chain Chomper badge uh, as we're badge hunting. Can't say I've spent too much time doing that, but it's nice to add another one uh, in when you can. So that's the end of stage four. Now we're on to stage five. We'll be riding some city routes, but until then, this is Cadman Cycling, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.